It all started yesterday morning when the military helicoptered a group of civilians out to the Mirtha for a behind the scenes look at how it all operates. Our Kelsey Thord was on board. Mario McGannum was one of about a dozen lucky guests who got the chance to be the first civilians to welcome service members to San Francisco Fleet Week. I was so impressed. Most of them are young enough to be my grandchild. The annual flyout, which kicks off Fleet Week every year, gives participants the opportunity to ride in a military helicopter, land on a ship, which this year was the USS John P. Murtha, and tour it all while that ship is making its way into port. Uh, the helicopter ride was definitely a once in a lifetime experience, but I think the more lasting was is just seeing all these people and personnel. And everyone I spoke to had a skill that transcends into, you know, the civilian businesses. Mario is the president and co-founder of Avenue Greenlight, an organization that provides funding to local merchant organizations and community groups. He's been involved in Fleet Week for years, but this was the first year he got to participate in the flyout. There is a bit of a disconnect sometimes between people's perception of what the military is and what the military really is and what the people are in the military because they are us. The group participating in this year's flyout was made up of local community leaders, first responders, educators, and emergency managers. Organizers of the flight say one of this program's main goals is to not only educate civilian leaders on the inner workings of a military ship, but also to give them a better idea of how the military can assist in the case of a local emergency. At the same time, the military is learning about what the organizational setups are of the civilian, uh, civilian disaster response community, such that if in the event of a disaster, you're not handing business cards out in the disaster, you already know who each other are. Mario told me learning about the ship's capabilities and seeing it in action was amazing. He told me it was nice to see firsthand what type of federal assistance is available in a worst case scenario situation. We're an earthquake country, we've got fires galore. Um, if a disaster ever hits San Francisco, it's nice to know that we have the military as a backup to bring us assistance because we are a global village. The USS John P. Murtha will be docked in San Francisco all week. Tours are available to the public and thousands of people are expected to take advantage.